also with Apogee, do you, what do you see the future? Do you see a, a buyer looming someday or, or do you feel like that's something you'd keep in house? So here's my deal. I'm the one that came up with Apogee. I'd love to make the car. I'm not yeah. that naive. I'm sure if we've got what we really do have, and I obviously feel we do, we're going to get bought out. I'm being honest with you. That's not to say I will, but they're going to come along. They're going to come along if this thing is real, which again, it is. Um, so you, you will, you will know one second after I know. So it's going to be interesting, right? Um, hey buddy. I'm the youngest, uh, shareholder here. Um, on the release for the website, the D7, um, the pictures of the car, is it a concept or is it just a random vehicle? It's a concept right now. We're working on concepts. You're probably going to see two or three concepts over the next month. Uh, and, and, and by the way, if I may say, Miguel, that's that Miguel, yes? Yeah. Um, it's, um, uh, and it's because when we start working with the company that we believe we will be working with, I think there's going to be quite a few changes simply because um, if you know anything what they do, they simulate it. And we can actually build that car without actually building it. You and I can drive it and feel the suspension and do all the different things. It's amazing. They do it for Bentley. They do it for BMW. They do it for airplanes. And uh, so who knows what changes are going to go. And I'm pretty sure there will be changes. As a matter of fact, you know what, Miguel? Uh, I'm, I don't know if you, anybody knows. I'm downtown Vancouver, directly across the street from me is a big showroom uh, that is now opening with the electric car called Lucid. And Lucid is the ex-CFO of Tesla. And they went through so many variations of it. I happened to see him the other day and he was visiting there because the showroom's actually not open yet. But so who knows, you know? Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Hey, Steven. Yes. This is Tim. Uh, is uh, do you expect uh, Apogee partner partners be revealed soon? The seven par partners. Yeah, I don't know where you read the seven. I guess it's on the website. I'm the one yes. that decided. I know that I said ten partners in the beginning, based upon my conversation, things I've got going on. I, I'm the one that decided I wanted to keep the seven. So that's my decision, first and foremost. Uh, you're going to be here within the next, at the most, thirty days, um, but definitely by the end of this month for sure. And if, let me just expand on that, what they are. They vary from, it could be the entertainment field where they're, the, the music system within the car, it could be the tires, it could be the, the metal or aluminum that the car is made of, it could be the leather on the roof, it could be anything, and that's those type of things. And there are companies that are disruptive within their own right, <laughs> and in my right, but in with their own right. But definitely by the end of the month. Mr. Brown, I have a quick Hello, question. Yes. Um, my question is, have you thought about hiring like a graphic design artist to make a cool little video of the car kind of coming to life? We're like a concept video? Yeah, we, we are actually doing that now. And I have a great team here. I have, okay. I'll give you an example. If you've read anything about one of the board members, who's my friend of 35 years, Doug McGallan, uh, and then, yes. his, then his associate, who is Greg Strom, you can see them on the Crank Media website, but they're on this board, well, one is a board member. So they are first uh, award-winning video commercial. They shoot Super Bowl commercials, two, $3 million for 30 seconds, okay? They will be shooting my video for nothing. So I have those all lined up, ready to go. I'm not quite there, but we are absolutely doing that we're, we're actually videotaping stuff as we go along in the very early stages of graphic design quick ev question have you guys decided upon uh for a production line is this going to be based or is it leaning more towards uh, uh a partner that's already ready to roll things off an assembly line uh, you know what? We're, we're talking about both. So I don't have a great answer. We're taught. We are talking about both. Probably we're going to have to lean towards, uh, you know, an, another, uh, assembly line because that's a pretty big challenge. So if I was to answer the question, I'm sure it's going to be that. And, uh, very exciting times coming. Uh, it just, you know, when it comes to, um, you know, Apogee, will we have any more, um, obviously by then, you know, we're talking months, but, you know, could we see something maybe a little bit more um, like the concept? Would it be somewhat more in place by then? Uh, obviously, we're talking February. Um, yeah, so the know, answer what, is I, I believe that I haven't talked to uh, LT about this. So I'm going to put him on the spot. So are we going to at least have the complete simulation from the company? 
um, uh, that will be visual on all of the uh, the monitors and everything, 100%. Will we have an actual powertrain sitting on the carpet? I don't know yet. Um, but you will will definitely have some form of a prototype, either physically or, or, or visually.